Hey guys, uh, today I wanted to do a um, what's in bloom in January uh, video. So I'll show you what I have in bloom currently. And if you are interested, please keep on watching. This is my Phalaenopsis pulp. As you can see, it's nicely in bloom. It's been in bloom for um, at least uh, a month and a half, maybe two months now long last bloom it's not that many bloom it's just few but it's been very long unfortunately don't have any fragrance but the color is so beautiful it looks like a sunshine and i kept it in my bedroom because i love the color to look at it every day every morning that i wake up just to look at my sunshine Phalaenopsis pop. Next, I have this uh, Phalaenopsis store bought um, in my daughter's room, and it had lots of uh, bloom, but unfortunately, it's done, finished by now. But I just wanted to show you how beautiful the um, pattern on this Phalaenopsis is. It's Phalaenopsis No ID, but I really like the pattern on it, and that's why I got it um it's a complex hybrid no id phalaenopsis but as i said uh, first of all i like the, the pattern second of all it was so cheap it was three pound and that's why i got it because this is the first time i buy this bargain <laughs> orchid that's why i got it but uh, nevertheless i really like the pattern and uh, uh, on this bloom next one on bloom is my dendrobium um berioda as you can see still in beautiful bloom look at that so cheery i don't know if the lighting is good i hope it's it's good enough for you to see this beautiful Oh, if I could take it out, okay. I think it's better like this. Yeah, blooms are so beautiful. I like the color a lot. Fortunately, I think it got um, spider mite. Have to um, treat it for that. But other than that, it's so beautiful. There's some more spike to go it's been blooming since last month or the month before i think maybe in december january yeah it's been in bloom for two months almost now and still going strong so lovely dendrobium berioda next i have my uh, phalaenopsis schilleriana as i set it into in a uh, spotlight I hung it in my bathroom, so I just wanted to show you this beautiful orchid in bloom, my Phalaenopsis Schilleriana. Look at that lovely mustache-like at the bottom of the petals, I really like that. And I've got other phalaenopsis is still in spike so this one is my uh, phalaenopsis philippinensis with a very very thin spike here you can see there's maybe three buds in there and i have my bronze maiden with two spike the blooms are and um, the buds are getting bigger and fatter uh, if I could show you is this one oh, sorry. Um, and I have my phalaenopsis sanction in beautiful bud which has started to open probably for next month I can show you better display of this orchid there's two spike 
with this uh, Fibonacci sanction, uh, which has just started to open a few days ago, started and this two uh, started open uh, yesterday. And um, let me just put this one here. And I have this little one to show you. This is again one of those um, uh, Shirerian hybrids. Uh, Jiaho girl, pink girl. Um, this orchid was set back by me by putting it into semi hydro and I um, changed it back into um, sphagnum moss and it's been growing. Um, it, it had it lost all of the roots and now it's got lots of root um, in sphagnum moss and a layer of bark on top and now it started and those lovely blooms again i'm very happy and excited to see the blooms again and these were the rose maiden as i said just don't want to move it in case you know the art and something bad happened to them This is my and um, dendrobium JK spider number 570 times this color. As you can see, the buds are growing. It's been growing the, these buds very slowly during the winter time, but I'll be rewarded by lovely blooms maybe next month think they are big enough to burst open anytime there was another another bud here that I think in the cold it's got nipped and died and also there was another one somewhere else that got be uh, eaten by the slug because I kept this uh, dendrobium outside in some time but I'm very very excited for these buds to open you can say hello to everybody she's sitting here quietly watching me filming okay <laughs> <laughs> say hello and this bye -bye. is my big sim video no ID that has been in bloom since November 23 and as you can see still going strong and I love it really nice beautiful blooms big blooms and a lovely color as you can see and three spike and lots of suitable I transferred this one into semi hydroponic this uh, last summer and it's grown nicely in there ever since. Before that, uh, it was happy as well. I mean, this kind of these symbidiums are happy in any condition as long as you know what to uh, you know what to do with them, which is um, giving them lots of sun in summer and give them a little bit of a cold chilly nights and um, autumn time i kept it outside until uh, mid october uh, which started to um, do the spike grow the spikes and then i brought it up and the spike grew and look at that rewarded me with uh, three beautiful bloom, bloom spike that's a blue. This is my uh, Epidendrum Hogo Medine. It was in bloom two months ago. Same, um, same um, canes. As you can see, there is one, uh, uh, you know, dead spike, and then there is few cluster of um, bloom coming up after that. So it was so interesting for me that the first bloom spike 
finished and cluster finished and then the second one started to grow and and same again in this one as well as you can see there is a dead one and then there is a new spike growing on top of it with a cluster of blooms i really like this um uh, this orchid because it has lovely uh, scent jasmine scent in it and um yeah it grows in semi-hydroponic setup and sits on my windowsill kitchen i just wanted to show you this lovely bloom this is not an orchid this is an african violet um this is called rob's um mess crinkle or something like that it's um a very beautiful violet blue uh, with margins of white bloom i grow this in semi hydroponic setup in this uh, jar and it's very easy to grow and rewarding beautiful blooms just wanted to show you this i have this papio pedalum Unalionum, not sure if I'm saying it right. Really beautiful bloom, and I love the pattern on the leaves. It's a beautiful pattern. And the bloom is going strong. Uh, it's been more than maybe a month, uh, maybe two months now. Um, yeah, I think it's two months, more than two months, uh, it's been opened and it has not gone off or anything like that. It's just beautiful. I love the colors, the pink at the bottom of the petals, so beautiful, love it. And my last but not least uh, orchid in bloom is this Dendrobium aberrans thyme polysema. As you can see, there are lots and lots of spike. This orchid has been in bloom since November and still going strong. Lots of blooms. I think I've done a spotlight. I might have done a spotlight for this orchid because uh, it's, this is the most uh, blooming that I've ever had for this orchid. So many spikes and so many blooms. It's very happy in a semi-hydroponic setup and just sitting on the, um, in my uh, kitchen windowsill. So it gets moderate sun or maybe, uh, this is south facing window, so um, get lots of sun in some time um spring and autumn is good amount of sun um but it gets cold in uh, autumn winter time cooler than the other window seals and that's why they like it i think latoria dendrobiums uh, so this one has beautiful blooms lots of beautiful blooms as you can see no scent in it but beautiful orchid nevertheless okay i think that's it for uh, this what's in bloom orchid uh, orchid um what's in bloom um and spike this time and um i hope you've enjoyed this uh short update and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more uh, updates like that thank you very much for watching